Buongiorno amici di Vai Elettrico, siamo come sapete, come chi mi segue anche attraverso l'accesso di Instagram a eh, Gothenburg, ospiti di Zikor per l'arrivo sul mercato eh, europeo di Zikor e oggi siamo qua con eh, l'amministratore delegato di, di Zikor per l'Europa, Spiros Fotinos, che eh, ci racconterà qualcosa di più sull'arrivo eh, di Zikor in Europa e auspicabilmente poi anche eh, in Italia. So, thank you for uh, having us as a guest here. I've just tried uh, your, uh, your car, the first car, which will probably be uh, also on the Italian market. I don't know if it would be the 001 or maybe another one. Dicevo che ho provato chiaramente la, la prima auto, l'abbiamo provata pochi minuti fa. Potrete vedere il video a brevissimo sul, sul canale, la 001. And I've got the, the first impressions about the car. Uh, obviously, you're, at the moment, uh, your, your brand is not so uh, well known in Italy. It will probably be uh, in the future. Uh, if you ask people who are a little bit interested in uh, uh, cars in Italy or in, in, in EV, you are probably known for uh, the announcement of uh, an electric car uh, with a range of more than 1000 km. Dicevo che chiaramente in Italia al momento non sono così conosciuti come, come Zikor, però chi ne ha sentito già parlare ha sentito probabilmente parlare di, di, di quest'auto eh, che può percorrere più di 1000 km eh, con una, una carica, anche se i benefici the uh, the 140 kilowatt uh, version okay. which is a limited uh, version my question is uh, la mia domanda è is this the, the right direction so do you think that uh, uh, producers will have to increase more and more uh, the uh, the capacity of, of batteries and give customers cars which have a very very long range i mean is, is it what you really need to drive a car or is what people expect? Cioè questo è quello che le persone si aspettano o quello di cui hanno bisogno? So I think, you know, when you look at the 1000 km version of the car that you drove, it's the same car that you drove, mm -hmm. but with in the same footprint of battery fitting 40% more density basically, which is the killing battery. 40%, from, mm -hmm. 40% more from 100 to 140 mm -hmm. kilowatts. Um, and you say, is this the direction? I think it's a direction. When you, when you look at the 001, the 100 kilowatt as the base, and you look at how that product can evolve, where we can push the boundaries from a technology perspective, range is obviously one of the directions technology can take. The other direction could be performance that you might see in the future. Ok, quindi la risposta è eh, questa è una direzione, una possibile direzione, se pensate che la batteria, eh, la stessa batteria dell'auto che abbiamo guidato e che vedrete nei prossimi giorni in prova, ha eh, una batteria da 100 kWh nello stesso spazio, è stata inserita una batteria con il 40% di densità in più, quindi eh, appunto per equivalenti anzi per 140 kWh, questa è una direzione, quella di dare eh, più range, una direzione possibile, ma certamente non, non l'unica. Ok. I was struck during the presentation, mi ha colpito molto durante la presentazione, uh, by the fact that you said that you want to reshape or shape the, the future of uh, electric mobility, giving people the, the, the instrument to, to live it uh, in a correct way or in a, in a better way. What do you think people need now which has not been done or which has not been done enough uh, up to this moment? Mm -hmm. eh, la cosa che mi ha colpito nella presentazione è che Zikr dice vogliamo ridefinire il futuro della mobilità, vogliamo dare degli strumenti per viverla in modo semplice. Cosa bisognerebbe fare? So, uh, what basically we're saying is if you look at our mission, Our mission is to accelerate the shift to electri full electrified mobility, mm -hmm. to accelerate. Now, if I take a customer from Tesla, for example, that's already an EV customer or another EV brand and bring them to Zikr, which I'm happy to do, we didn't achieve acceleration because it's the same people circulating. All right. Mm -hmm. right. Means that unless we can get the premium diesel driver to abandon the diesel and say, I'm ready to go electric, okay. which they're saying to us, they say, I'm ready I know my next car will be an EV, but I'm worried about range, I'm worried about price, I'm worried about charging, I'm worried about reliability, I'm worried about residual value. Yeah? So if we don't have solution for each of those elements, starting with the product, that the product is within reach, and that diesel customer wants to change, they're not paying the crazy price premium that their own brands are asking for, but we have a re realistic and reasonable solution as a step, and then we cover all the other elements as well. Ok, 
Quindi ci dice, eh, in realtà noi non vogliamo, eh, noi vogliamo accelerare il processo del cambiamento verso la mobilità elettrica e quindi non potremo farlo andando, tra virgolette, a rubare clienti ad altri brand già presenti, ma piuttosto portando dei nuovi clienti che arrivano dal termico verso l'elettrico. Questo è il modo in cui noi vogliamo approcciare il mercato. Ovviamente dobbiamo farlo con degli strumenti e anche delle proposte che siano adeguate per poter arrivare a questo. So let's talk a little bit about uh, uh, pricing, mm -hmm. because uh, obviously we don't have prices for, for Italy at the moment because uh, your products are not uh, sold uh, in Italy, but we've seen the, the European prices, let's say, during the, the, the conference, mm -hmm. and it seems to me that uh, these prices are quite, um, we say, aggressive in, uh, in Italy. I mean, they, they are quite um, attractive. attractive uh, in comparison with what you uh, offer. This was my impression. Dicevo che ovviamente uno dei metodi per arrivare al pubblico è quello del prezzo, il prezzo d'acquisto. Sappiamo che non è solo l'unico uh, valore. Uh, the, 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 the purchasing price is not the only, uh, the, the only point, but it's, it's a great point for, for, for people. E ovviamente il prezzo che io ho percepito, non abbiamo ancora dei prezzi italiani, ma il prezzo che abbiamo visto, i prezzi che abbiamo visto in conferenza, si parla eh, di essere attorno ad un range di, di 45.000 euro per quanto riguarda il modello X e a partire da 60.000 per il modello 001, eh, è un prezzo molto aggressivo, molto eh, attrattivo, eh, soprattutto in, in paragone a quanto l'auto poi effettivamente offre e lo vedremo eh, tra poco. How do you achieve this uh, result in getting a great product which seems to be what seems to be a great product I, I, we will need to, to test it a little bit further but what seems to be a great product even in terms of quality perception without a, a high a very high price tag um, I think there's a couple of reasons we can do that the first is you have to remember that we're a pure EV company right among the few that are pure EV companies which means that we from we design from zero in that direction. So we can do the cost engineering from the baseline, right? And look at how we're building the cost and value proposition to the customer. The second is, because we're pure EV, we don't have to split resources to be doing EV today, diesel tomorrow, hybrid the next day, and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. We're concentrating our efforts, very focused on that technology and on the supply base um, that's required. Um, and the third is, we have a direct distribution model. So I don't have the in-between layers. Our distribution model could be much more efficient and that value goes back to the customer. Ok, ok. Quindi ci dice, noi siamo con un car maker, quindi un produttore di auto che produce solo elettrico e che quindi può avere la possibilità di ottimizzare tutti i processi, quindi di non disperdere energia e questo si traduce poi in un'efficienza, in un'efficacia, un tanto nella produzione, nei costi di produzione, quanto poi anche nella distribuzione. Ok. So, I really appreciate it uh, to, to be able to talk to you today. Mi ha fatto molto piacere parlare con lui oggi. I really hope to see very soon your cars uh, in Italy or at least to have the chance to uh, test them in, in a further uh, trip, uh, maybe in, in Germany or mm -hmm. wherever in, uh, in, uh, in Europe, because I think that uh, people need to get uh, to get back to their passion for, uh, for cars. Mm -hmm. Today, when you talk about uh, electric cars, you always talk about range, about mm -hmm. uh, how fast they charge <laughs> and everything. When I, when I, I mean, I, I'm not very old, but I'm not uh, young. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was a kid, when I was a child, uh, I used to read magazines. And uh, even if I couldn't afford, obviously, I, I was a kid, to, I really had passion for uh, technique and to, to understand how, how everything worked. Yeah. Now people say, okay, now cars are all the same, which is something that is not true, okay? Yeah. Uh, so I really hope uh, to inform people and to uh, give the message that there is a lot of uh, technique, a lot of technology, a lot of passion yeah. behind cars. So, uh, and I found that these uh, values are very present in your, in your brand. Yeah. So I hope this uh, uh, will be possible to show people what, uh, what you do. Eh, quindi ecco, spero di poter provare presto i prodotti di eh, Zikr in, in Italia o quantomeno in Europa, magari in Germania e potervi raccontare tutta la passione che c'è dietro a queste auto, tutta la tecnologia, tutto ciò che attraverso anche la produzione di eh, così, un prodotto industriale di fatto si può eh, trasmettere al pubblico anche in termini di passione. Alla prossima! Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.